Well, ahoy there, mateys. We are starting 1.1, the very first lesson of big ideas. So chapter one is all about uh, numerical expressions and factors. Uh, it sounds complicated. We will be moving fast. And 1.1 hopefully will not be too bad. It's mostly review. So we're doing whole number operations for 1.1. That's adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. The big thing is we will not be using calculators. So for today's lesson, you have to identify math operations from words. So you have to know that sum means to add and product means to multiply. Quotient means to divide. If it says to figure out how much more somebody has than somebody else, you're probably going to be subtracting. So that's part of what we're doing. You also have to be able to add large numbers without a calculator. And that includes uh, carrying over, which if you need some help with, I can help you out during on demand. And then uh, subtracting without a calculator again. So this may include borrowing and then multiplying larger numbers. So that's what we're going to be doing for today. Tomorrow, there will be another video about division only. So we're going to break 1.1 into two parts. 1.1a will all be about uh, adding, multiplying, and subtracting. And 1.1b will be about division. So the first thing you're going to want to know is what these words mean. Again, it would be helpful to take some notes. So I would suggest keeping a notebook anytime you watch an Ed Puzzle video and we come up across some important information, jot it down in your notes. So there are four major operations and they all have words that identify them. So when you see the sum, that means you're going to be doing addition. If it says you're finding the difference, there's subtraction. Product is multiplication, quotient is division. Now, of course, there's plenty of other words that indicate adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing too. So like you have to know that uh, if it says two times, that's multiplication. Uh, I want the total, that's generally addition. So part of what we're going to be doing is just identifying what operation. So the first operation we will be doing is addition. So uh, we have a bar graph right here. It shows art festival attendance over the course of three days. A lot of people attending this festival, especially on day three, very popular art festival, apparently. So if we're finding the total attendance for the art festival, what operation are we doing? Yes, we are doing addition. So you want to find the total attendance for the three days. In this case, the phrase total attendance indicates you will need to find the sum. So you'll have to do addition. So an expression that represents that, uh, you could write it as 2570 plus 3145 plus 3876. So to add these up, and again, I'd suggest writing this down on some paper just to have in your notes, uh, you want to line up the numbers by their place values like so. And when you add them, so like 5 plus 6 plus 0 is 11, I put the 1 down here and I carry up the 1 here. And then 1 plus 7 plus 4 plus 7 is 19. I put the 9 down here, carry the 1 up here. So hopefully this is review. If you need some help with adding big numbers without a calculator, stop in during On Demand. I'll be happy to help you out and walk you through this. And Ms. Rude also has office hours available, which you can find on Clever or on our resource slide if you need some more help with that. So here our total attendance is 9,591. Okay. Well, what if we're doing this problem? What is the increase in attendance from day one to day two? What operation are you doing to solve this problem? So when you see increase, you might think addition, but actually if you're finding the increase from one day to the next, you will be doing subtraction. So a expression that represents what we will be doing for this problem to figure out day one to day two is we're going to subtract 3,145 minus 2,570. That'll be the difference between day one and day two. When you subtract, you want to line up the numbers and then subtract. So in this case, 5 minus 0 is just 5. No problem. 4 minus 7, though, you can't do. So you're going to have to borrow. So the way you borrow is you go over this 1, and you're borrowing 10 is basically what's happening. So this 1 becomes a 0, and this 4 becomes a 14. Now you can subtract. 14 minus 7 is 7, and we had 0 minus 5. You can't do 0 minus 5, so you have to borrow from the 2. Uh, hopefully, again, this is a review. If you need some help borrowing uh, to be able to subtract without a calculator, come see me during On Demand, and I'll be happy to help you out. So for this problem, the increase from day one to day two is 575 people. All right, so 
here we have another type of problem. If you have a school lunch that contains 12 chicken nuggets, that's a lot of nuggets for a lunch, and 95 students buy the lunch, how many total chicken nuggets are served? What operation would you be doing to solve this problem? Well, you might see the word total and think it's addition, but it's actually multiplication. So we are doing 12 nuggets per lunch times 95 lunches. Uh, the way you do that is you line up uh, the numbers and you are gonna multiply this five times the 12 first. That gives you 60. And then we're done with this five. Now, when you're multiplying the nine, uh, you're actually multiplying 90. So you need to put a little space here or an X or a zero. You need a little placeholder down here when you're multiplying through the nine by the 12. And nine times 12 is 108. Again, you have to have the space or move it over, put a little X or a zero there because this actually re represents 90, not nine. And then you add them up and you get... 1,140. So there were 1,140 chicken nuggies served that day. All right. So that is kind of a brief review of how to add and multiply and subtract. Uh, where's my next slide? Oh, we're moving on to the wrong keyboard there. <laughs> we're moving on to actual, uh, this is a problem right out of the big ideas here. This bar graph shows the attendance at the school carnival. Write an expression you can use to answer the question. Then we're going to find the actual answer. So for number one here, what is the total attendance of the carnival? Which expression shows the total attendance of the carnival? So you would add them all together. And what is the total attendance of the carnival? All right. So there was our expression. And our grand total was 2,741. Question two, how many more people attended the carnival in 2014 than 2012? What expression would we use to solve that problem? Okay, so we're going to subtract 801 minus 623. And what is the number of uh, people that attended in 2014 over the 2012? It is 178. And the third question, the carnival projects that the total attendance for 2015 will be double the attendance in 2012. What is the projected attendance for 2015? All right, this one's a little tricky. Uh, so when you are doubling, you are gonna be multiplying by two. Now you're gonna be multiplying the attendance in 2012 times two. So which operation should give you the uh, projected attendance in 2015? Yes, we're gonna multiply 623 times two, and our grand total is 1,246. Okay, these are very similar to the types of problems you're gonna see on your big ideas. For big ideas 1.1a, there's a mild choice and a spicy choice. Choose either one, whichever one you prefer. The spicy is a little more challenging. I will be here during On Demand to help you out. Mrs. Rude has office hours available through the ASC. She can help you out with the math if I'm not available. You can also email me. You can also send your questions through Flipgrid, or you can ask them during our next live session. So uh, good luck, pirates. I know you can do this. And uh, tomorrow we're moving on to division. All right. Arr!